Bruce Van Pettig, I'm a sales representative with Voyager RV and this afternoon I'm going to show you some of the features of the Winnebago Sonova 33C A-Class Motorhome. Big changes that came up in the last two years is now we have a one-piece windshield with no center bar. Substantially enhanced visibility and the overall aspect of going down the road uh, is again uh, very much enhanced. 362 horse V6 or V10 Ford, uh, 457 foot pounds of torque with a five speed automatic, standard fare. On this one here, we have ordered it with the 22 and a half inch tires and wheels. And uh, before we started this demonstration, I leveled the coach. Um, wheel bearings seem to be fine. <laughs> anyway, in all seriousness. This coach also comes with the uh, video camera system, which gives you cameras on each side of the coach, which are activated either by the turn signal system or manually on the backup camera. There are no blind spots when you're driving or backing up this coach. Uh, three slide outs. All uh, the construction of the Winnebago is what's called the thermal bonded walls. Uh, it eliminated any chance of delamination uh, in the coach. It takes uh, 324 degrees to laminate them and about four times that to delaminate them. So it is a problem that they uh, unfortunately had in the late 80s and it has totally gone by the wayside now. If you look at these slide outs, your storage compartments come out with your slides so you don't have to climb underneath to get to any of your storage. And it is full length for golf clubs, fishing rods, things like that. This is a fully winterized coach. Dual pane windows, heated tanks, and a system called Motorade, which also heats the back of the motorhome from the radiator and the hot water when you're driving in cooler climates. If you're out camping and you've uh, set up and you, the weather's nice outside, you want to watch your favorite football game, soap opera, whatever, you have a LCD TV with a stereo system built into the outside. You have awning toppers on each of the slides that go out automatically with the slides. This coach comes equipped with a power awning that is operated from just inside the door. So you have the system by which you will come out and over. Now I'm only going to put it out partially because one of the most important parts of this is this awning has adjusting on it to drop one end if you want the rain to run off away from the door. Um, pretty nice feature when you get into it. Putting your awnings away and there's no reason whatsoever to ever lose an awning in, in inclement weather because it is literally push button storage. Coming back here, obviously storage compartments throughout. Um, the all are carpeted, all are metal bottoms. Every metal piece on this coach is what's called E-coated for uh, rust prevention from the factory. When they do the entire chassis of the factory, after they do wells, they actually send a crew out to redo the area where they did the wells. Very, very particular um, manufacturing process and probably as close to a hand-built coach as you'll find in this, in this price range. One piece fiberglass roof not a rubber roof. It is not subject to the wear and tear of the Okanagan sun. It does not deteriorate. Obviously all coaches, your uh, tow hitch and everything else is uh, already mounted in. This coach has two air conditioners on it, therefore you have an Onan 5500 watt micro quiet generator. You have enough power sitting here to run this coach the coach beside it and the coach on the other side with no efforts. All your compartment doors are heated and insulated and all your civil engineering uh, performances are done here from an outside shower to sewer dump. This coach, this coach has a button inside here that you can level the coach when you're at a dump set that gives you uh, the chance to completely uh, evacuate the tanks because you're always on a level surface even if the ground itself isn't. All your wheels on this coach when you go to the 22 and a half are polished alloy wheels. These are not wheel simulators, these are solid wheels. 
all your storage doors onto this slide open up sideways, which makes it way easier to get to them. Again, storage compartments that go along the whole length of the coach. Yeah. Just another storage compartment. And propane is in this compartment where you can just easily pull up to the auto propane in the gas station and fill up your system. You the have very large bases on your leveling system so they don't sink into sand or grass. And again, um, on this side of the coach obviously is your um, rear view monitor camera system. Let's go inside and have a look there. Welcome to the inside of the Sonova 33C three slide motorhome. As you can see, very, very tidy, uncluttered dashboard area, color backup monitor, strategically placed an angle to the driver here for safety, where if you, as I say, activate your signals, it will also take a picture of the coach down the side so you have no blind spots. Your uh, television and everything else, as in the old days, has been taken out of the center above, and it has been put on the side wall where you can sit on your couch or combination couch and airbed and easily view the TV in its entertainment center. This hutch for your freestanding table is great for two or the table will slide out and there's two more folding chairs that are usually stored underneath the bed that will go into place and allow you to comfortably seat four people for dinner. One of the new uh, innovations in the Sonova is they have finally gotten rid of the uh, sun visors or sun shades that you have to literally get out of your seat to go and get. In the new coaches, and the engine is running in this coach right now, you have what's called a sun shade that comes down about 18 inches and stops at that height. If you really want to black things out, you can bring down the night shade. Now here's the cool part. If you turn it off, it becomes your entire shade for the front. There are no blinds that go around the front. You can do the same thing with the solar shade. Um, it's a tremendous safety feature. You do not have to get out of your seat literally to go and find your uh, sunshade. It's right at your fingertips. Anyway, it's not touching that before we go back to the uh, kitchen area. As you can see back in the kitchen area, we have solid formed countertops with the fold-ups. One of the biggest things you uh, have probably noticed in motorhomes is the lack of counter space. This has tremendous counter space. They are all formed. Your sinks are double stainless steel. Um, very, very durable, very, very easy to keep clean. All your drawers are on ball bearing slides. They are all plywood and they are all full length drawers for the full bank. You have great storage for garbage cans, uh, lids, things like that, pots and pans underneath the counter. Nice little highlights for your corner for coffee makers, uh, cravats, um, things that you don't want to leave on your countertop when you're traveling. Microwave convection oven uh, above the stove stop, 22 inch oven for the stove top itself and then combine that with the 12 cubic foot four door fridge freezer with an ice maker. So if you're going on long term you have lots of food storage capacity. Norcold, probably the very best in the business. Bathroom all in one. You have your sink, your vanity, your toilet, and glass sliding door shower. And no matter how what size you are, you can easily fit in the shower and be comfortable. All your controls in one place. Your inverter, your heating, your cooling. You have both gas and electric heat in this coach. Your pa uh, power center, which will keep your draw uh, to either 30 or 50 amps when you're plugged in. Your controls for your electric heater, your propane hot water, your water pump, your battery levels, um, generator starts, all that stuff, all in one place. Very, very nice feature for getting away from the handheld um, locks for the slides. 
I don't believe you can probably hear, but right now you have a, sl a slide lock emitter that is a hook like that that drops over the slide and when they are in, locks it firmly into position. It is all done push button and you don't have to be fooling about with the manual slide locks. When you're all done, turn the key and the slides and everything mechanisms are disabled. One of the rare things you find in motorhomes these days, especially in a 33 foot, is a king bed. So you have a king size bed here with a uh, inner spring mattress, lifted up, substantial storage. There's the two folding chairs I mentioned on the uh, dinette out in the front that are usually stored underneath. One of the things that the girls are very, very um, eager to see is you have full-size wardrobe with hangers um, and a bunch of remote controls for all the TVs and things that are still in the shipping box. They're lift cabinets when they open up. You have a control back here where you can have the temperature of the bedroom and the bathroom different from the living area because you set it on a separate thermostat. Um, most people like the bedroom area cooler than the living area. Obviously um, LCD TVs uh, with your inputs for satellite, uh, Game Boys, um, all the rest of that stuff are all sitting there and you'll notice that they are all gold plugs. So quality throughout. And that is a quick overview of the Sonova 33C.